Hey everybody, Bubba3681 back here with another video and a fucking update again. So today guys, we're going to be making a video. So when y'all go back to school, y'all be fucking prepared. So guys, today, what I, what I am going to do, I'm going to give y'all some tips. How to be prepared the first day of school and probably the rest of the day. Rest of the first semester and the second semester. If you're going, if you're going middle school, I can give you good tips. If you're going to high school, I'm not really sure. I can just probably just. I don't really know. My sister really knows tips on how going to high school. What, but today, guys, I want to be giving y'all some tips for the first day of school. Not now, if you're in elementary, I can give you easy tips. If you're in middle school, I can give you some, some of my tips. But if you're in high school, I could probably just like think of some tips. If you're in like college, I, I'm not doing that. No, nope, fuck that. College? Nope. I'm getting that out of the fucking way. I'm not going to college. <laughs> but today, guys, but we're just gonna. I'm just gonna give you some tips. Now make sure, make sure to smack the like button as hard as you can. Do do it with a fly swatter if you have to. Hit your own, hit your own darn computer or your phone with the fly swatter just to hit the smash button. Or, I mean, you know what I mean. Hit the like button, and it, and if you want, if if you want to be notified when I come out with a video, subscribe. And click that notification bell so when I make a new video and I post it, you'll be notified immediately. But if some of y'all don't realize the bell and y'all subscribe to me, press that, you'll be notified of every video that I come out with. So, guys, let's just get right on to the video. So, today, guys, I want. I'm just going to, I'm just going to do elementary, I want to go by levels, like, like how to be prepared, the materials, and also the kind of outfits you might want to wear. Now for elementary, elementary school, it's pretty easy, elementary school is easier than nuts. Middle school is somewhere between... Elementary school and high school. If you work hard, it'll be pretty easy. If you don't, you're basically screwed. Like, as soon as you get to, like, the sixth... So, I'm just going to go over your hands. Kindergarten. It's pretty easy. Pretty, pretty kindergarten through fifth is pretty easy. And basically it, but... If you're going to elementary school or going in like fifth or fourth grade, I advise you just, as long as you pay attention, you're good. Now for middle school, middle school is a little bit harder. It's going to be a challenge. Through my own experience, it was a little bit of a challenge, but I still, I still get past. So for middle school, you get sixth grade, you be somewhat doing work. Basically easier than nuts. When it comes to like second semester, you start doing harder work. Like a little bit harder. But they start teaching you it. Seventh grade, you do some of that hard work you did in sixth grade on the second semester. And then the second semester in seventh grade, you want to be do more harder work. Like something near like eighth grade work. Then as soon as you get in 8th grade, you'll be doing 8th grade work. And then more harder 8th grade work. Or somewhat of ninth grade work. Like something harder. Now for middle school, you're going to have to like be really prepared. Like you can't be just coming up there smelly. Smell like, you just smell like goat toes. You smell like, you smell like shit. No. That's not how you roll. And also, 
just watch out for those wannabes because if you're a, a redneck and just watch out for those wannabes because they're just annoying as hell. So I'm gonna give you five tips for middle school. The first one is the wannabes. Just watch out for those wannabes because they're so damn annoying. You would probably just cut your own ears out and blow up your eardrum somehow. So watch out for the wannabes and always ha and always be two steps ahead of them. And then just keep yourself clean. Do not be coming up there, coming up in there, smelling like damn whatever, like dog, like dogs, cats, rotten cereal, grass, rotten wood, bugs, piss, anything you can think of. And the third tip. You always, you just make sure to just pay attention because middle school is a little bit challenging. So make sure to keep your eyes focused on what you're doing, on one thing. Because if someone's distracting class like a dumbass, just keep looking at the board. Just, get, just keep looking there. Now the fourth tip... If someone's pick, making fun of you, well, the best thing to do is go up to the teacher and or the principal and tell them or the officer. And if they don't handle it, you might need to handle it yourself because really some schools, their teachers don't really eh, do anything about it. So you might need, need so you might just need to like make sure that's coming. So if they don't do anything about it, you might need to do it yourself. Not, don't punch them. Just like tell them in their face, roast them. Then if you get in trouble, just tell them y'all didn't do anything about it. So I'd do it myself. So next, have the right shit when you go to school. Have the right materials. Make sure you have enough damn paper that last you at least the first semester. And two days after the second semester. Well, I'm just coming there with two pieces of paper. A little binder. With only one pencil. One marker. Like crayons. You use crayons these days. Get them out. Get them out of here. You need a big binder. Like a three inch binder. With at least a stack of paper that thick. With more than two pencils. At least like. 10 pencils if you use a mechanic mechanical pencils have 10 of them and have a shit ton of lead like take take your 50 dollar bill and buy a shit ton of lead like at least like think about it like a hundred a hundred grams of it at least last year the whole school year, school year and have a pouch where you can put those pencils inside and my best option if you have those zip binders they're called like they have like a G on them or something to see. They, they're like zippable binders. You can like strap them to your damn like that. And you can just, instead of carrying it like that. I think that's my best bet for y'all. Instead of carrying the binder and it falls and stuff falls out. I really recommend having those zip binders. Or those binders that have that like little loop that you can just stick on there to close it. And... And also, don't let you, don't rip your papers out your binders, because if you drop your binder, that paper is going to fly out somewhere. Even if it's a point, that paper is going to fly out somewhere. Fifth step: keep everything organized, because if you don't, and the teacher asks you to get something out and you don't know where it is, you're basically screwed. Because if you don't have to, if you don't have it organized, um, you're pretty much screwed. You're probably getting an F. Or as I call it nowadays. is Well you know what I mean. Nowadays it's F. Older back in my little little young days. It was a zero. They call it a big fat zero. Well they still call it that. But. In high school. You might need to do the same thing. 
But one thing, if you have a girlfriend in middle school, no kiss from right in front of the teacher. Do not do that. That's disgusting. They don't do it in public. That's disgusting. Get a fucking room. Or do it after school. Not not inside the school. Do not hug each other inside the fucking school. Because some schools nowadays don't understand the sign of affection, which it's pretty much disgusting. Like, like even for me, if I'm hanging out, I'm not dating nobody right now, but if I have a girlfriend, I'm not just going to kiss them right in front of the fucking teacher. No, that's disgusting. Get a fucking, don't do it in public, you idiot. So that's basically all the tips for middle school. High school it might be a little bit challenging. You might need like more tips and more like be five steps ahead instead of two steps ahead. And also high school might is like a bigger area than middle school and elementary. It's like a middle school and elementary school combined. But it's a high school. So there will be bigger people and much more annoying bastards. So I want so I'm just going to end it here. I'll give you all part 2 to, later on today. So if you want to see more, keep the update on the channel. Tell your friends, tell your family. Tell your tell your 1000-year-old dead ancestor if you have to. I guess I'll see you guys later. Bubba3681 out and keep it redneck.